Hello everyone, my name is Eugene and today we are going to start our series of videos about Salesforce AI. So uh, the ultimate goal is to end at Agent Force to understand how it works, what features inside, how to set it up for like uh, sales or service or maybe like a custom agent if you need. But today we mostly want to cover some kind of uh, introduction to understand like what we have in general as a Salesforce AI ecosystem when it started and uh, because we have as you know like uh, several like waves of AI so uh, let's uh, deep dive all right guys let's start our video about the history of Salesforce AI, which starts from the wave one. Salesforce started the first wave, uh, which is, you know, predictive AI uh, with Salesforce Einstein. Uh, Salesforce knew in 2014 that AI was going to change customer relationships and established um, like in-house research team that helped pioneer AI for CRM with the launch of Einstein here in uh, 2016. And this provided amazing results for Salesforce customer to sell smarter, um, serve smarter and engage smarter, basically. You know, that is what it stands for. Also, let's let's maybe like discuss a little bit of uh, what is inside of uh, predictive AI. So basically, as you can see, it includes some kind of development of uh, vision and language, bots and uh, some acquisitions and some products that actually we're going to maybe like uh, discuss a little bit more. So the first one is uh, Einstein lead scoring. So basically like uh, leads, lead scoring uses data science and machine learning to discover uh, your like um, businesses patterns uh, of lead conversion. So, based on uh, uh, based on these patterns, Einstein predicts which of your current leads to prioritize. So, and um, by machine learning, uh, by using machine learning, Einstein lead scoring provides a simple, faster, and more accurate solution than traditional uh, rule-based approaches. You know. And uh, this is just like a, uh, like a screenshot uh, from, uh, from Salesforce user interface where you can see this Einstein scores that you can build. So another example of, um, of like a feature is Einstein conversation insights. So, what it does is basically it uses AI-powered analytics to analyze customer interactions such as calls, meetings or like uh, chats for instance and providing like actionable insights to improve sales performance and customer engagement. So as you can see this is just like an example of, uh, of conversation insights where you can like uh, on the left side, you can click and, and you can see some kind of insight of all this video. By the way, like uh, as you can see, like this is some kind of like uh, uh, visual explanation of these waves and products, features and acquisitions from Salesforce. So I just uh, created them from, from this video, like uh, uh, in, uh, introduction like uh, of Agent Force with Mark Benioff and uh, uh, I highly recommend to check it because ba basically like it explains uh, like a, a general um, history of all products with some kind of demos and uh, so it's 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 good to watch. So speaking of like uh, the second phase, right, where we have like uh, like a copilot, right, where we have this one copilot, which starts like in 2021. Uh, basically, like what it includes is 
uh, several uh, like uh, GPT products that you can use for uh, for a business, right? So if you go like a little bit like uh, to this section, you can see like uh, Wave 2 copilots, and that is like example of Einstein like uh, GPT for sales, and basically like this. Uh, generative AI like brought about the release of sales for GPT products, producing incredible productivity and uh, a range of capabilities like deal insights, account summaries, uh, and briefing. And it's it's much more than it was before. Like so, so Einstein GPT is like um, Salesforce AI that helps you work like a the main thing like faster and uh, smarter as well by generating content like automating tasks uh, chat replies marketing content or even summaries of a customer interaction right so also as uh, i hope that you're familiar with gpts but still uh, you can also ask it questions or give comments in natural language like uh, show me like closing deals this month, for instance, and it's uh, it will do this for you, right? Also, uh, what I want to mention here is Salesforce basically has like a partnership uh, or like uh, combining OpenAI uh, enterprise grade ChatGPT technology with Salesforce uh, private AI models that was built before and now. Uh, to deliver relevant and uh, trusted AI generated content. As you can see like here, just like a small example of Einstein GPT for sales. And what it means is, for instance, for sales, uh, what it does is uh, it like, for instance, drafts personalized emails or like uh, suggest next steps, etc. right? But also Salesforce provides GPTs for like service marketing like uh, slack for instance right for service it creates like a chat replies like uh, case summaries or knowledge articles for instance which is very helpful and um, for like you know like for slack it's for instance summarize uh, conversations it also uh, integrated with uh, all other different products for instance like a commerce like a Tableau and uh, even for developers um, uh, there is like an extension for VS Code that you can basically install, install like uh, then um, like an extension uh, and then use it to make your code more efficient and uh, avoid some mistakes so which is good. So that is like uh, Wave 2 Right, and the uh, way three that is that is basically like uh, AI agents, right? That is the main thing that I want to discuss uh, in the next video, maybe in more details, what it does, what it includes, and uh, how to set up like agent, for instance, for sales, and so on. For instance, like agent force for sales uh, can draft like follow up sales emails based on previous communications and account activity and uh, like for service um, it allows service agents to use AI generated contextual responses uh, while you're chatting with your customer for instance and so on so uh, yeah it's basically like uh, includes some kind of like uh, building blocks and uh, features um, that we are going to discuss in next videos uh, for better understand like how does it work? Also, I want to cover pricing thing uh, because it's also like very important to understand how it works. Basically, like in this video, that's it. It is just like a quick intro. And um, uh, what I recommend you to do is Salesforce provides Salesforce AI Associate Certification, which is very good way you can find it like um, on the trailhead uh, it, it has like a trail mix where you can go through steps uh, and learn more about like AI in general 
what it does, how it works based on some uh, like uh, documents, articles, and also some modules that you can basically pass. And uh, it's as you can see, it starts from uh, very basic things, but slowly you can understand more what is like natural language processing, for instance, like uh, what is the difference between generative AI and predictive AI and so on, right? It's, it's not like that hard, but I highly recommend you to, to go through this trail mix. And, um, and now Salesforce provides also a free certification uh, exam for AI associates. So you basically can learn this like training mix and then uh, pass this exam to have like a, some kind of bottom line of your knowledge for now. It's, uh, it contains, as you remember, like around uh, 40 questions. Yeah, it's 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 very good thing to uh, have like a general understanding uh, about AI and um, some Salesforce features, right? If you want to go further, so Salesforce also has uh, uh, additional certificates, but I think that we we can cover this in the next video. So for today, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.